Good afternoon, I'm Dave Ayler, Superintendent Coloma Community Schools. It's hard to believe, but today marks the final day of school for our students. Like you and everyone that works here at the district, we wish our students were in the buildings today as there's nothing quite like the voice of children on the last day of school with the excitement of summer vacation. I know the last three months have been difficult and I'm grateful for your patience during this time as well as your commitment to your child's education. I'm also grateful for the dedication and passion of our teachers and staff. While the situation has certainly been difficult for our families and our students, it has been equally trying for our district's team. I appreciate their dedication to ensuring our students continue learning throughout this crisis, and I know I speak for them when I say we can't wait to have our students back in our buildings. For the class of 2020, we're very proud of the hard work you've given over the past 13 years, and we look forward to celebrating your graduation on Friday night. For all our other students, today might be the last day of school, but learning must continue over the summer months if we're to hit the ground running in 2020-21, no matter what model of learning we have. As such, I would urge our families to work with their children and keep them engaged in learning activities during the summer, whether it's reading together or using some sort of standards-based resources located on the internet. Please keep your child active as it will make the return to school that much easier. On the subject of the next school year, you may have recently seen a video of mine where I talked about several options for returning to the school year that we're exploring, which range from a continuation of distance learning to just reopening schools with regular face-to-face -face learning. We certainly hope it is the latter, but we want to be prepared for any and all possibilities as we await formal direction from the Governor's Office and the Michigan Department of Education. I urge you to complete the survey that I sent out earlier this week so that your voice can be represented at the table as we continue to plan for the 2020-21 school year. Your child's health and well-being, as well as access to a high-quality education, continue to be our main focus. We will share details regarding the coming school year once we have confirmed how we would proceed and we have a plan. In the coming weeks, you will likely see several projects taking, taking place in the district most to the infrastructure, including work on the high school roofs and the parking lots here in the junior high and parking lot, uh, high school. These projects were approved by the community two years ago as part of our sinking fund and are not the result of any new taxes, nor do they affect our general fund balance. Sinking fund dollars can only be used for these type of projects and not for educational purposes. We are very appreciative that our community has trusted us with these dollars which allow us to keep our facilities up to date and safe for our students, parents, and community. Should you have any questions regarding these projects or anything else related to 2020-21 school year, please do not hesitate to contact my office. On behalf of everyone here at Coloma Community Schools, thank you for your time, your energy, and your passion. And thank you for serving as our partner in the education of our community's children. I hope you have a restful, safe, and healthy summer. Stay positive and go Comets.